I feel like we underappreciate Lil Wayne somehow now. We do. He's he's one and two, one A, one B. He's, he's one of your one or twos. Yeah, I mean Jay, but he like right there. I got him like in around nine. I I mean, my top ten there. is very like. It's yeah. like super fucking. I got ghost face above Little Wayne. Like I'm, I'm, a fucking, I'm not mad. I'm never I know, mad I got, at that. I got like a super. Like I always say, like Kendrick's top five all time. Mm-hmm. Because if we if if people put Biggie in their top one or two off of two albums, oh yeah, you have to put Kendrick in your top five. Yeah. off of his discography because his discography it's is crazy. flawless. Albums, in my EPs, impact, mixtapes, all of it. Yeah. Um. And then like one and two is to me it's Jay and, and Nas and then I could just like swap shit around. It just becomes after like one and two are the only two that like don't move for me ever. It's Jay Z, it's Nas. Nas. And then it's however you feel day. And then that it's day. just however I'm feeling it for the day. You know, Kendrick's up there. Mm-hmm. I say if Drake comes away from this whole thing on top, mm-hmm. I finally gotta stop hating on Drake. <laughs> If he can come out... Now, I thought the AI thing was one of the corniest things I've ever seen a rapper do in my entire life. You did? I thought it was terrible. Oh. Because I'm sure Snoop didn't co-sign that. I'm fucking using Tupac's voice. Come on. Anyway, nonetheless, if he can come out from everyone dissing him, The weekend, <laughs> the biggest artist in the world on Spotify, number... If you look at... The ranking, the weekend is number one. Mm-hmm. You got the weekend dissing you, bro. If you got the twenty verse one, he posted that shit with a uh, Kill Bill, and he comes out on top. I gotta, I just gotta. I, I, I hate to say it, but he might be up there, bro. He might be the go. I mean, the boy can rap. That's what makes this so exciting. He can rap his ass off, and, they, and he's the biggest, yeah. probably the biggest rapper ever, commercially successful. Yeah. Oh yeah. For for, for especially for the the run. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like Wayne had like that three year run that was fucking crazy. Like uh Eminem had like a what probably five or six years where he was like the biggest shit ever. Mm-hmm. But Drake's like oh nine to now. Never seen it. With that being said. <laughs> he sings too though. So he sings too. That's good. Yeah. It helps. It helps. <laughs> it helps. It does help. <laughs> Nas ain't fucking singing. No, he not. <laughs> Jay-Z so, ain't singing, thank God. I ain't neither. <laughs> but, but, I need Drake to give me a rewind or a fucking meet the parents or I need something like that. I feel you. We ain't got one of those. No, nah, we don't have one of those. But if he comes out on top, I don't, if, hey, listen, to me, Kendrick Lamar is indeed the boogeyman. I think, I think. Yeah. I just can't wait, man. Shout out to K-Dot. I'm super yeah. biased in this whole thing, so. Likewise. But it is what it is. I mean, I know the caliber of, of human we talking about. So. When you, 